the body wall of nadiria in the last lecture we have done the body wall of nadirians in polyform in which we discussed the epidermis and gastrodermis and their cells so now we will uh, discuss the body wall of nadirians in medusa form but before going to start the body wall of medusa let us have an overview on the structure of a medusa so this uh, this is the typical structure of a medusa or a jellyfish this is the we have seen that it has two surfaces the outer surface is called ex umbrella and the inner one surface is called sub umbrella uh, we have seen that from the sub umbrella part a uh, cylindrical or handle like structure or projection is arise and we call it as manubrium from the manubrium there is the mouth region which consists of four loops like structure that are hanging downward and we uh, and here in case of some jellyfish a uh, double folded epidermis is found which is shelf like and we call it as velum so consider this umbrella to be a, a medusa we have seen that medusa and umbrella are both similar in structure so for example this is a medusa we have seen that the outer convex surface this outer convex surface is called ex umbrella so this whole surface is ex umbrella and we have seen that it also have an inner concave surface so this whole inner surface is concave and it is called as sub umbrella and from the sub umbrella you can see that here a cylindrical or a handle like structure is arise so this white cylindrical or a handle like structure is called manubrium from the manubrium next here is the mouth region we have discussed this already in the dimorphism video so here this is the mouth region and from the mouth region a four loops like structure are arranged which helps in the capture of food so here in case of this umbrella this is only one aperture or one loop imagine that there are four loops that are hanging downward from the manubrium and the mouth region from manubrium next is the mouth and from the mouth for this handle like for this loop like structure are hanging downward so we have seen that from the margins of some jellyfish a shelf like structure is found which is only consisting of epidermis and we call this as velum so here in case of umbrella fe fe double this epidermis and it will form a shelf like structure so this will form the velum and if this velum is present in a jellyfish we call this jellyfish as a uh, false jellyfish or untrue jellyfish and if this jelly and if this velum is absent in the jellyfish we call that jellyfish as true jellyfish so this this diagram is for example this is a medusa when we rotate this at 90 angle so we can see only the sub umbrella part so this is only the sub umbrella surface we have seen that from sub umbrella um, surface a uh, handle like structure which we call manubrium manubrium is projected outward and from the manubrium there is mouth region which consists of four apertures or loops uh, we have studied that from the mouth region or from the gastric region gastrovascular cavity uh, four channels or four canals are projected outwards so these are four canals or four channels they are projected outward from the gastrovascular cavity and we call this canal as radial canal and we have seen that these four radial canals are uh, open into another canal which is called as ring canal so for example this is a medusa it consists of four canals which are started from the gastrovascular cavity and they these four canals are opened into another canal which is running along the entire margin and this canal is called the ring canal while these canals are called the radial canal so now we will see the epidermis of epidermis and gastrodermis of uh, medusa so that was a general overview on the structure and morphology of medusa but our actual topic is the body wall of nadiria in medusa form we have seen in the polyform uh, the epidermis and gastrodermis but here in case of uh, medusa 
दीज इपिडर्मस एंड गिस्टोडर्मस विल बी सिमिलर टू दोज ऑफ पोलिप विद अ लिटिल बिट डिफरेंसेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कम्स टू ऑल द इपिडर्मस ऑफ मेड्यूसा सो इपिडर्मस ऑफ मेड्यूसा विल बी प्रेजेंट इन द बोथ सर्फेसिस विच इज सब अम्ब्रेला सर्फेस एंड एक्स अम्ब्रेला सर्फेस it will be present in the menobrium region it will be also present in the mouth region and in tentacles so this is the location of epidermis that where it will be present now types of cells so like uh, polyp form we have uh, discussed the six types of cell so here uh, that cell will be also present baru but with one change we have seen in polyp form that interstitial cells were the part of epidermis and gastrodermis but in case of polyp form this interstitial cell were less in number they were reduced but here in medusa form they will be more in number and especially at the base of at the base of at the base of tentacles they form a swollen part so for example this is the tentacle base so in, here in the in the tentacle base it will these interstitial cell will accumulate more and they form a, a, a swollen part which we call lithocyst let me confirm that what is it yeah it is lithocyst so this is the main difference between the epidermis of polyp and medusa uh, the remaining uh, cell will be the same similar in structure and function but here in the case of interstitial cells the interstitial cells are less in number in polyp form while here in medusa they will be in more form and especially at the base of uh, tentacle they will form a swollen part which we call lithocyst Besides that, it will also have epithelial, muscular cells, which will involve in the musculatures, and they form striated muscles. Striated muscles radially. so in the subumbrella part they form striated muscles which helps in the locomotion and movement so now comes to all the gastrodermis gastrodermis will be also present in all these regions except for tentacles with additional region it will be present in the ring canals radial canals and it will be absent in the tentacle region uh, and it will be it will be absent in the tentacle region but it will be present in these region so these are the sub umbrella region sub umbrella surface ex umbrella surface menobrium mouth and gastrovascular cavity or or we can say cylindron gastrovascular cavity so gastrodermis should be present in these region the subumbrella region ex umbrella region menobrium region mouth region ring canals radial canals and gastrovascular cavity so now comes to all the cells of cells of gastrodermis so here like polyp uh, there will be also that type of cells but here endothelial muscular cells will be absent we have seen that in the polyp of 
uh, in the body wall of polyp uh, the gastrodermis was consisting of endothelial muscular cells which was helping also which was also helping in the musculature but here, here in the case of uh, medusa body form the gastrodermis will be devoid of endothelial muscular cells and it will not participate in musculature so this is the main difference the outer surface would be the x umbrella and this inner surface would be this one is the inner surface this would be the sub umbrella so this black one is the sub umbrella and this blue one is the uh, x umbrella so we have seen that epidermis first of all we will draw the epidermis of x umbrella and sub umbrella because we know that epidermis is present in both the surfaces so I am drawing the epidermis in red color so this is the epidermis of x umbrella and we can call this epidermis as x umbrella x umbrella epidermis so this is the x umbrella epidermis and we have seen that epidermis is also present in the sub umbrella so this one is the sub umbrella and this red one is the sub umbrella sub umbrella epidermis so we have seen that epidermis is also present in the mouth region so this is the menobrum and the mouth region and these are the four lobes so we know that between the epidermis and gastrodermis there is mesoglia we see that between the epidermis and gastrodermis there is a jelly like substance or we can say that there are mesenchyma cells which we call as mesoglia so consider this one as mesoglia this one is also the mesoglia and this one is also the mesoglia now comes to all the gastrodermis of umbrella so this one is the gastrodermis and this gastrodermis is present in the x umbrella region so we can call it as x umbrella gastrodermis and we know that gastrodermis is also present in the sub umbrella region so this will be sub umbrella gastrodermis and this gastrodermis also uh, lined by the cilindron so this is the cilindron and we have also discussed that uh, gastrodermis is present in the radial canals and so this one are ring canal these two are the radial canal and we have seen that there are four type four these are four in number so this is the cross section so we can see only the two radial canal but actually they are four in number and this circular or this ring like structure is the we, we can see that this is the ring canal so epidermis is also present in the